Hello, I'm Max Balegde. Yeah, he is, and I'm George Clark, and welcome to the Useless Hotline. Beow, 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 beow. TikTok wasn't working out for us, so we decided <laughs> to set up our own little bussiness. We did, and the Useless Hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how weird, disgusting, or embarrassing they are. <laughs> Thanks, Max, but it won't always just be us. Sometimes we'll be joined by a little guest, or a big one, but this week, no guest. Oh, anyway, um, shall we get into it? Yeah, bitch. Yeah, baby. How have you been? Um, I've been good. Oh, sorry, I've got chewing gum in. That's probably a bad idea. That's right. I actually need a wee. A I was just going to quickly run for a wee. I might as well whilst you're doing a chewing gum break. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close my eyes. Close your eyes. Stay there. Okay. Keep your eyes closed. I really don't like Keep this, your eyes Max. Closed. Max, I don't like Keep this. Keep your eyes closed. Max, I don't like it. I'm putting something around your neck. It's Max. not bad. I don't like it, Max. Keep your eyes closed. Put your hand down. I don't know if this is fun, Max. It is fun. It's very fun. Oh, Max, I don't know. I feel how much my hands are shaking. Well, yeah, that's just normal, though. <laughs> Alright, stay there. Stay there. Oh, are you doing something weird? No, stay there. Max, I don't know if I stay like there. it. Max, I don't like it. Right. Open your eyes. I've got your blowjob bib on. Surprise! <laughs> what, is, what is this surprise? This is my episode! Howdy. Bloody hell, do I have to wear this? I mean, I just wanted to put it on you just to see I don't you know how long it wants to be in a blowjob bib for a whole episode. <laughs> Why are you in your how Barbie you... outfit? Because it's the gay episode. Blowjob bib. Right. I'm dressed like this, look. Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, that's good for one of the dilemmas later. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I don't know why I'm adjusting this like <laughs> I want it. I love that. How did you know what that was, by the way? You've seen it in my house, haven't you? Yeah, we've used it before. Yes. Okay. The fact that you was like, have I got your blowjob bib on? It's <laughs> such a funny sentence. <laughs> Um, just in case anybody is deeply confused at home, we said that once a month, each of us is going to get to do, like, a special episode and come up with it. So I thought that this one is the gay one. And maybe I thought of it this morning. And maybe I just scrambled at anything that looks slightly gay. What, what makes this gay? The fact that you're just wearing that? Yeah. That makes it, that's the gay I mean, part. No, I've also got, like, things to do. Not to me, I hope. No. <laughs> what do you think that bib's for? <laughs> I just also want to clarify, I bought that bib as a joke in, um, I think it was Texas, and then it's hung up in my house. found out it's actually really useful. <laughs> it's hung up in my house, but when I wore it on the night that I, like, bought it as a joke, people were literally eyeing me up, like, oh, and I was like, do you think I'd walk around with a bib on? Like, oh, does anyone want to spunk on my face and my chest? If you were single, you would have done. I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe I would. Um, but welcome to the gay episode, George. How are you feeling? I'm feeling... Happy. Yay! As you should. <laughs> right. Um, so we're going to start it. I thought because I'm wearing my Barbie jacket, if you didn't know, I wore this to the Barbie premiere. It's made out of Crocs gibbets. I know. It's so Bloody fashionable. Hell. Really cool. Um, I thought that in the spirit of Barbie, seeing as how I think by the time that this is out, the movie will also be out, we could play a game. I don't know if you saw with the marketing of it. But right. they basically had like different pictures and you would say what Barbie this represents. Okay. So I've sent um, our lovely producer Callum some pictures. So if you could just print one of the first ones off and then me and George will say this Barbie is a and decide what we think it is. Okay. Woohoo! This is actually really uncomfortable. This Barbie is a problem. Oh, maybe. Yeah, are you, were you surprised? Didn't see this coming, did you? Um, as soon as you left, I thought he's doing something. Also, I had to go into a cubicle to get changed, and this man just walked out. And when I tell you, the level of feces in the air was so strong, I felt sick. I had to like go out. I was gonna go downstairs to the disabled toilet. That was um, somebody was in that, yeah. and it was just hell. It was horrible. Like I couldn't do anything about it, and I knew that I had to do like a quick change. Oh, it was horrible. These Crocs as well are so heavy. Right, oh, well, you know, they, they make up for it in other areas, don't they? Because they're beautiful. Thank you. I couldn't agree more. Right, first one. 
<clears throat> this Barbie is a. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? This Barbie is. Um, cancelled. Cancelled. <laughs> it's alphabet. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even think. I just thought, oh my god, yeah. This Barbie has Tourette's. Oh my, whoa, don't. <laughs> uh, can neither confirm or deny. Actually, can can deny. Um, yeah, wild. Yeah, actual alphabet turned me into alphabet on Halloween last year. Nice. And, I remember um, seeing that and literally shitting myself. <laughs> I didn't like looking at you at you all. You just kept looking at me and you were like, you actually look like a woman. It's freaking me out. Yeah. And I did. I really did. Like, she did my makeup really well. Um, she actually can't do hers that way. Oh, God. That's mean. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> oh, she's going to bring us up on a live. I can't oh be asked. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean... What would you say that Barbie is then? I think that this Barbie is a green legend. That's a bit shit, really, isn't it? Oh, nice. <laughs> this Barbie... <laughs> Bloody hell, do it off well. <laughs> this Barbie is a mess. Monstrosity. I was a mess last that night, and I felt like a mess. Mm. Um, but that, I am That Barbie am. was stinky, actually, I remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't want to comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This Bobby is smelly. Oh, bless. So, Alphabet, as in TikTok Alphabet, if you don't know. As opposed um, to the fictional one. Yes. Um, gave me her wig and costume that I think, bless her, she probably worn a few times. Well, and uh, there's, a, there's video evidence of it. You don't have to assume. Yes. And, um,. Yeah, I was very polite about it. She was very lovely on that night that I met her, and I wasn't going to be like, it smells a little bit. But so I was, I was very nice to her. Out of context, that is such a funny sentence. <laughs> she was very nice, so I wasn't going to tell her that it smells a bit. <laughs> no, she was. I felt awful. We are talking about a dress. Yes, not her. Um, and yeah, I kind of just went with it, and we had a great night. We ended up in Freedom. She was singing a tit song. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah, we don't really speak anymore for um, reasons that are fairly obvious. The Tourette's thing being one of them, um, amongst other things. But anyway, I wish her well. Hope that she's still greening on and everything. Greening Should we on. move on? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, I feel flustered. Right, next Jesus one. Christ. This Barbie is a... Raging homosexual. <laughs> I'd say raging homosexual cowboy. Um, if you can't tell at home... That is me in Texas again, where I got nothing that I'm wearing now. I don't know why I just referred to it. The blowjob bib, that's what I got in yeah. Texas that same night, actually. And um, I was riding a giant mechanical penis. Bless and, him. Um, Andrew lost his in a terrible accident. Yeah, he did. So um, we just thought, we'll make a, have a... make a bit of money out of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I would say this Barbie is a danger to society. Yeah. That's what I'd say. Right, next one. This Barbie is a... Minor. It, true, yeah. I just saw Go this on, picture. Now, 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 now insult the minor. <laughs> I will, because he's a fucking bigger right here. Big, that's, that's not the opposite, is it? Don't make the minor bigger, Max. <laughs> that's disgusting. Um, I feel like I, I was shocked that this was your face. Even though I can tell that it's you, well, if, but if, it if just... If that was, like... I just do look gay. Yeah. You I look like look... a little... Like a little perfect little mouse boy. What does that mean? Like a mouse. I don't know. You just look... Guys, is George not giving, like, Stuart Little vibes? Giving, I just do look gay in that photo. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. If you if you were shown that photo, you would just assume, and you didn't know who I was, you would just assume that person's gay. Yeah, probably, or that they grew up gay. I don't think that they get that they're shagging right I, now. I reckon hopefully. I looked more gay at that age than you did. No, I completely disagree. You had I had a bowl a bob. in your head. I had a bob. Bowl is a nice way to say that I had a bob, and people often bob is a nice way to say I had a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> people often, but I think I told you the story, didn't I? When I was in um, at Disney World in Florida. Oh dear. And um, we were getting onto this, uh, what's it called, like train sort of thing. And nice. the guy who works there was like, come on, little missy, get on up. And I burst into tears on the spot and my whole family laughed at me the whole holiday. 
Just trauma dump in there for you. Um, last one. This Barbie is a... I just found this picture so funny. I don't know what the hell I was doing in that photo. It's, it's, it's for oh, a brand it's, deal. It's for Motorola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just thought it was so funny because it's like so this, funny that you just post it with a monster. This <laughs> Barbie is an ad merchant. Yeah, this Barbie is paying them bills, baby. That's what this Barbie is doing. <laughs> Um, brilliant, right. Also, I love that you can see the time that you thought about making this video, yeah. making this your episode <laughs> yeah. in the top left hand corner. <laughs> Last night, I was like, fuck, I need to call it 20 past something. 10. <laughs> I got an idea for tomorrow's episode. I was just scrolling through your Instagram like I do every your night. Instagram. Your Instagram. Um, oh, I was right. scrolling through your Instagram. Well done. We made it through the Barbie round. Congratulations. Right. Oh, I, I can't believe it. Hey, thank you. Thank you to our live studio audience. Thank you. Right, the next one, I'm going to say some LGBT references. Okay. And you have to guess what you think they mean. All right. First one, top. Um, the boy that sits on top. The boy, that, the boy that's on top. Final answer. The bo- giving top. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving top. <laughs> the, yeah, the boy that's on top. What does that mean, though? That you need to give more... There's a bloke underneath him. No. Who's uh, on top? No. Top means the person that, like... Does the inserting. Yes, yes. So, oh. like, in a gay male relationship, it's the person who, like, puts it in the orifice. In the, I was about to say pum, but that's just, yeah. that's just a straight relationship. Yeah, it is. And, like, similar with lesbians. I didn't realise that lesbians had top and bottoms, but they do. So, someone who's, like, what most likely insert? to... Like, fingers. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Sorry, everyone. I feel a bit upset. Like, fingers or a strap-on. Even, but surely, like, you don't go. Oh, you're gonna do the fingering this time. Surely it's like. No, it's like. Oh, I prefer to do the fingering, so I'm the top. Hmm. Hmm. What, what happened to equal relationships, man? I mean, true. This is just so. Would Would you let your girlfriend shag you up the ass then, just in the ca- in the name of equality? No, because we. It, it, oh, like, so it's not equal when then. You, you've both got you. Neither of you've got anything to insert, so you've both got the same. She's amount. got a fist. Yeah, but they've both got the same amount to insert. <laughs> yeah, so you should both be putting it in each other in the name of equality. I don't think that's how you it both works. have fingers. Okay. What do you have to mathematically look and go? How many points could you put up my ass? Hmm, let's work this out. How many points? Yeah, like oh this foot. Is, sex is in the game, Max. Uh, if it was, you'd be losing. That's right. <laughs> that's a clip. <laughs> Max makes a joke. That's a clip. Yeah, that's so great. Oh my god. Um, next one, bussy. Bussy, a bottom that feels like pussy. <laughs> Oh, it's so awful. So this is like a term that some gay men use, which I just think is awful. And they're like, my bussy, because it's like the bo- bottom pussy. Yeah, so I was right. Yeah, but it, but it doesn't feel like that. But like they refer to it as that. Cause well, I like, don't know. Yeah, <laughs> true. That is true. Um, I promise. Yeah, <laughs> I promise I'm not well at the bussy. Uh, but I just think that that is a bit Sorry, odd. Were you just commuting? I think I, my crocs are very large. I can't, I'm no longer in control of my feet. I apologize. There was an um, R in that word. Otherwise, it would be yeah, very incredibly upsetting. small. Yeah. Same applies, though. Um, next one, slay. Um, that's just, I don't know how to like actually describe slay, uh, like, cause you just say it to fucking anything. That is probably the best description of it because that is very true. Anything it's can happen. Anything that's like slay. remotely good, you just go slay. Yeah. So it's kind of just like an adjective that nobody really knows the true meaning of. So that was yeah. very accurate, George. Well done. Like you just wouldn't use it in a negative sense. Like, oh, my grandma died last week. Yeah. Slay. Yeah. Such a slay. She got slayed Ooh. by life. <laughs> the Grim Reaper slayed hard. You could use it. Mm, I don't know, it might be a different context. Yeah, maybe. Um, right, next one, work. Um, um, when someone's looking mighty fine and sexy, <laughs> they're working it, baby. Uh, yeah, kind of. If something was like good, like do you remember when we was at New York Pride and mm-hmm. the Beyonce song came on and Dane just did the full choreography to Single Ladies? Mm, he was putting in the work. Yes, and I was like, work. <laughs> That was work, like, well done, work. That's like, yeah. So it's also an adjective it, that would you use. You pretty much use it in the same way as slay. Yeah, you can. I would say that work is maybe more 
aggressive than slay like i would say slay very casually whereas yeah. i'd be like work work bitch oh god <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Right, maybe not that aggressively. Um, next one, reading. Reading. Mm -hmm. well, What's must, it mean in an LGBTQ? Because you, yes. you famously are awful at it. <laughs> yes. Um, reading. Mm -hmm. um, does it mean like just trying to tell if the person's gay or not? No. So reading, be, that's a good. That's a good guess. I yeah, think. it's a good guess, but it's wrong. Um, <laughs> so it's a bad guess. Um, reading means like if you very wittily like insulted somebody so do you know like a rap battle oh so that could be yeah. detailed, like oh you're reading them you yeah. just read them like you read them like a book like because okay. you read them so well like yeah. that's the connotation behind it i think it started with you know we get I, into the it comes from the latin for <laughs> reading <culoso. laughs> no i think it was um th so there's this thing that started in i believe new york called the ballroom scene the where it's like room. well there you go um quite the opposite actually it was um a lot of like trans i think black trans people that started it and they would like basically do like dance offs but very like under like different categories mm. and they invented like, like the term strictly. of reading kind of like strictly but very gay and probably more aggressive like a strictly is famously straight <laughs> yes <laughs> so straight um i think that's all of them yeah, I wrote slay and slayed as two separate ones, but that is literally the exact same. So well done, George. Woo! Kind of passed that round too. Well yeah, done. Yeah, a little bit. Um, Can I take the blowjob bib off now? Uh, yeah, maybe take it off then. Treat yourself, George. It's like that you tie it up and it's like... Weird. <laughs> I don't like it. So in the next round, I'm going to read a series of objects and we have to assess whether they th we think that they give gay vibes by saying okay. the word gay or nay. Nice. First one, a fridge. Nay. I think a fridge can be pretty gay. If it's like a, a smeg fridge, they are so gay. Oh, yeah, but it's got smeg in the name. <laughs> Didn't even think of that. <laughs> I think if you put residue of cum all over it, then it'd be, <laughs> then it'd be quite gay. Ew. Um... I think a smeg fridge and uh, or even like ones with like magnets on, they can be gay. Mm, I think fridges as a whole are just not gay. Do you think it's not giving gay? No. So it's giving nay. It's giving much it's giving mucho nay. nay. Okay then, right. Next one, a hand towel. That's so gay. It's gay. That is gay. Just be a normal towel. <laughs> See, it has to be extra because it's gay. Yeah. Um, I agree. I feel like they're always hung up so delicately as well yeah, on the little and you're like circular hung up thing. on things. I am. You little gay, gay boy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's true. I am. Um, next one, a sandal. Um, depends what type of type of sandal. A Birkenstock. I'm on the I'm on the fence with that one. See, I think that they give off extreme <clears throat> straight male vibes, but also butch lesbian vibes see yeah i can just imagine a geography teacher wearing them see there you go and whenever you have whenever you ever seen a gay geography teacher exactly like crazy never um i think yeah i think gay you think gay i think gay i was gonna go for nay mm, okay well maybe but maybe that you, maybe you, that you probably have the deciding voters yeah i do i, you are. Well, I, I am court. i am nay yeah so and I am gay. Sorry, I did that in a very oh. non no way. <laughs> but <laughs> right, next one, chicken. Um, in terms of the animal, gay. In terms of the food, not gay. I literally couldn't agree more. Like some chickens, they're just so like fancy feathers, yeah. like all spouting off in different little directions. Head bob as well, little. Yeah, and around. that's so like. I've like, seen you do that sort of movement with Andrew exactly, a lot. Exactly, yeah. like all the time. <laughs> Um, Normally when you got that on. Yes, but. of course, yeah. Um, so, I, I, yeah, I agree. And I chi think. Just chicken as a meal. Chicken as a meal, it's quite, yeah, it's bland, it's regular, it's just like very generic, straight. <laughs> don't, like, don't like the way that that's, those are the words that you were saying. Sorry, I was looking at you as kind. I said that. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I feel like <clears throat> I agree with that. Well done. Nice. Next one, a mug. A mug? 
That's just that's nay. That is just that's nay. Yeah, that does give. Well, me... it depends what's on the mug. If it's a picture of like a cock. Mm. If it was a mug with like a metal straw in it. Oh yeah, that's gay. That's, that's very gay. That's gay. But why would you have I a, metal a metal straw, straw in a mug? I drink out of a metal straw for everything that I drink, other than on this podcast. I should bring metal straws. Right. Okay. But yeah, I think I think metal Heavily straw nay, equals personally. gay. Um, a computer. That's nay. Hmm, I don't know because it kind of gives You're me... You're telling me you see this and you go gay. If it was pink. <laughs> well, that changes everything on the list. But what about pink chicken? <laughs> pink chicken, salmonella. Salmagala. Salmagala. Salmonella, more like salmon, Sam. Sam and Sam, yes. Because it's not Sam and Ella, because that would be a straight relationship. Yeah, true. So Sam and Sam. Um, the okay, gays. then. So what we say, nay for computer. Or Sam and Ella could be, Sam could be the female. Ah, yes. Female Sam. And mm. it's a lesbian relationship. Yeah. So still gay. Yeah, because there's lesbians too. Yeah, there is. There is. Birkenstock. Yeah. Um, last one, post-it note. Um, depends what you write on it, I guess. Yeah, if you just draw a massive cock on it, then I... I if if it's, I think gay. Well, if it's if you've stuck them on your computer, and it's very boxy writing, being like, text mag. I think the yellow ones make sure are straight. To fax. Yeah, that's yeah. Yellow ones are straight. Every other color is gay. Yeah. If you even if you have a blue one, that is gay. Yeah, yellow. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking like a yellow one here that's literally just got what you need to do for the day. Yeah. That's straight. Yeah. Everything else, any other use, like even right. Stick around your house to revise. Mm. Revision is gay. It is gay. Revision's and so gay. You should have seen my revision books. Colours, highlights, oh, yeah. bubbles, everything just to memorise it. And I was like, why do I need this to memorise it? Gay. Mm. So gay. This is a fun game. I, I, let's think of some more things. <laughs> Cal, the producer. Callum. Gay. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell, uh, prime drinks. They're, I think the, the vibe, yeah, but like, it's only overly straight because of the consumer and the way it's marketed. If you saw that, gay, without any of like the background, you go, I'm not gay, I'm not drinking. Yeah, that. gay. But the ice pop one, gay. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's another good one? Premieres. Gay, very elaborate, lots of fashion. Lots of emphasis on the fashion. Mm. For example, I got a lot of um, hate for wearing a blazer with Crocs gibbets on it. That in itself is a very gay <laughs> sentence. So, <laughs> so gay. Um, what about places? Places? Yeah. Not just like the word places, like different places. Can they be gay or straight? Like London. I think London's gay. <clears throat> I think Sydney's gay. I think like places like the Lake District Manchester, are straight. Manchester, straight. I don't know if Manchester's straight. I think that Manchester's... I think Manchester's, like, fluid. Liverpool's straight. Liverpool is so straight. Oh, my God. Newcastle. I think Newcastle's straight. Straight. 100%. I think Manchester is, like, sexually fluid because everyone's, like, cool. Gay. Paris. Gay. France. Mm. Gay. Yeah, maybe gay. Yeah. Germany. Straight. Straight. Um, Thailand. Gay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um Russia. Straight. <laughs> oh my god. Scary. Terrifying. <laughs> North Korea. Straight. Confused. By, by, by curious. By curious. <laughs> In the closet. In the closet slash under a dictator. Um, under a dick? Yeah. Uh, gay. I'd say that's pretty gay. Yeah, North that Korea. is pretty gay. Uh, I also just I mean, want to point out as we get to the end of this round um, that we are joking. <clears throat> and please do not think that if you use a pulse it note, then you have to publicly come out as gay. Thank you. Um, wow, George, you passed that round. Well Thanks. done. I'm very proud of you. <clears throat> I don't know if you passed that round, actually. I'm not I keeping track. I did. We, we, uh, we were track. in agreement on a lot of it. Oh, good. Okay. Last round. Gay trivia questions. These are more Easy. educational, um, but I thought that I could just use this opportunity to not say absolute bullshit the entire time. Okay. First one. When did Max come out? What year? 20... 
18. 17. Seven, I was oh, going to say 17. You did a, so you're a fake friend and you're homophobic. I was going to oh say 2017, but it was after the... Yeah, event. 2017. Mm. Mm. Was it? You yeah. said it was after the event. Yeah, you... but was it 2017? I think it was. It was. I remember it well. It was late 2017. It was summer. That's quite late. No, early summer, beginning of summer. Halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> Nay. Um, next one. Do you know what Stonewall is? Um, when we learned a little bit. Somebody goes in for a challenge, <laughs> and the ref gives it like, f- just gives them a warning, mm. and you're like, "That was a Stonewall red. That that was a hundred percent a red. There's no way that oh. it. Oh, fucking Jack has come in there. Jack on top of." Bill. Well, I can't think of another midfielder. Like Kovacic. And it's not a red. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Football's gone. Yeah. Um, is that what Stonewall That means? probably maybe is to you, but not. Stonewall, is that, does that just mean like 100% fact, 100% bubbly bubbly? No, it is a place in New York where we went. We oh, learned, oh, no. We I learned that, a yeah. little bit about it. Oh, no, it's very different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, so it was a it's a gay bar in New York and the Stonewall Riots, can't remember what year they were in, um, the Stonewall Riots were instrumental in LGBT rights movements because being like a cross dresser or a drag queen or like a trans person or like anything gay was criminalized. So police would come to gay bars and just beat the shit out of everybody and like mm. arrest them for being gay. And um, one day, uh, do you know who have you watched the wizard of oz yes so liza minnelli's mum do you know who liza minnelli is she in the wizard of oz no but her mum is called judy garland who plays dorothy in the wizard of oz i thought you might know who liza minnelli is but anyway so judy garland plays dorothy in the wizard of oz and she was like a gay icon of the time like a queer icon and she died so all the gay people were really upset and on that day, the police came to raid the Stonewall Inn in New York, and a black trans woman called Marsha P. Johnson, I believe, threw a brick oh. at a police officer, and then everybody for the first time rebelled, and then that led to um, like structural change being made oh. in the United States that then led on to the rest of the world. Is it not very fitting that a, that a Johnson led the way <sighs> for gays? Do you know what? I never thought about it like that, George. That is very fitting. Nice one. Martha? Marsha. Marsha. Nice one, Marsha. Marsha. Legend. Wow. Yeah. Education. <coughs> um, and last question. Guess when homosexuality was legalised in the UK? What year? 2018. As in... As in t- oh. What did you just I'm give joking, me? I'm joking. Did you actually think it was 2018? Oh, okay. okay. No, as in, um, like, marriage? Homosexuality. Not marriage. Like, being legal to be gay. Before, it was illegal. So if you, like, came out as gay, you could get arrested. Um, 1994. 1967. Oh. Ah. Oh, nice bit of trivia for you all. Um, oh, well, and... we've got a easy then. What's the problem? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get over it. What are you all on about? <laughs> um, well done, George Clark. Do you know when gay marriage was legalised? I the think UK? that was 2018. Was it? Oh wait, no, that like was in America. That was in America. Like 2008 or something, I reckon. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't can know. We, I don't have it on my piece of paper. Yeah, go for it. But yeah, I think it was like around that time. But I know it wasn't until like a lot later in America. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Which old witch? The wicked old witch. On 17th July, guess the year. In the UK? Yeah. 2007. 2001. Earlier or later? Later. Later. 2012. Later. 2018. Earlier. 2014. Earlier. 2013. I'm 2013. So good. That's that's crazy. That's ten years ago. Yeah, illegal against law. If you try to get married, you are going to jail. 
I don't think so, it meant that actually. I so think you just put it, can't do put it, it this yeah. way: <laughs> you've been alive longer when gay marriage has been illegal than yeah. you have been when it's legal. That's why things like That's this crazy. are necessary. Look that at me crazy. right now, changing the world. I bet you kids watching this didn't even know that it was ever illegal, did you? Well, it was. I fought for our rights. I was there on the front lines, dressed in this exact outfit. Actually, funnily oh. enough, it fit me when I was. 13. 14. 14. Mm, it did. Um, well done, everybody. That is the the gay section of the podcast over, uh, although I did try to pick gay dilemmas, so did that you? kind of goes into it, but not many of them were gay. Oh. But woohoo! So yeah, every month, um, each of us are going to come up with a like surprise fun episode, and George is next. So in four episodes from now, Look out. Football episode. Way. Ledge, 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 ledge. God that will me. resonate well with our audience, I think. Yeah, I'm the, sure. The football episode. Um, right, should we actually do our job now? Yeah. Let's do it. And I'm going to take this jacket off. I'm very sorry, but I'm so hot in this. Whoa. In more ways Immediately, than one, maybe. <laughs> when the gay episode ends, suddenly he's not gay anymore. <laughs> Whoa. Right, can you hear the phone ringing? Yeah. I can too. <laughs> Oh my god, for the audio listeners, by the way, I had a hat on and George had a blowjob bib and um, lots of things were happening. I had a bib at the end of it. I had a full costume on, um, my pink Barbie Crocs and my jacket that I wore to the premiere, so it was very gay. Just imagine extreme gay. Hi, George. Hi, Max. I have a dilemma. Mm. So, I have n- I'm 22, I'm a homosexual man, and I've never been in a relationship with anyone, ever, ever, ever. So, Ever? yeah, Ever. how do I do Because basically, I'm stuck in a rut of just going on Grindr, sending them pictures. They send me pictures. Sometimes on occasion will organise to me, or they'll add me on Snapchat, and we just will stop talking, and nothing will ever come of it. And I just feel like when I'm at home, I'm stuck in a rut of just not meeting people. Whereas if I'm, like, on holiday, or, like, I went to Amsterdam, I was fucking a slut, but, but not right now. Um, so yeah. Wow. When he was in Amsterdam, he was fucking a slut. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. not now. Not now. Sorry, I'm eating, by the way. I shouldn't have eaten, should I? Um, this might be You're ASMR. You're eating too. that outfit. <laughs> he ate. Absolutely. Um, okay. I think if you just move away from your house. <clears throat> If, but, 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 but what about home is the problem? I think... Is the, the, the question. I think if you grow up in, like, a smaller place, or even when you are just gay in, like, where you grow up, you have this, like, if you found it difficult to come out, even when you come out, it's still a bit awkward to be, like, like have a boyfriend and, like, show yeah. it off to your friends or something, just because you spent so much of your life pretending that that's not the case. Yeah. So it's hard for them to come around to that. So then when you add on, like, bringing, introducing a boyfriend or something, so you subconsciously will not even allow yourself to date people because you don't want that awkwardness of introducing them to your family. Whereas if you move away, like, to London, Manchester, not Liverpool, that's too straight. Mm. I'm joking. Liverpool might be lovely. I've only been once. Um, yeah, then, <laughs> then you'll just get to meet people and meet people like you and then go on happy dates and have a good time and be a slag. That's what George did, isn't it? Yeah, just started shagging yeah. men away from home. Yeah. Um, All the men in your area, you just, you'd gone through them completed like a tractor. It, mate. Yeah, completed Bristol for yeah. Go to pastures new. Mm. Um, see what men Have you ever willing. been to a gay club in Bristol? Yeah. Have you been to that one, what's it called, OMG? Yeah. Is that the one, because they used to do a student night, didn't they? Mm. I went there. Went to OMG. Um, I went on the stage. That's where I did a naked dance off, and won a speaker. My friend has a story about this. His, he went in with his mates from uni, mm. um, and they went up and they was they were doing like a raffle or like a tick competition or something. You had to go on stage, mm. um, and he won a his mate won a printer. They had weird and he, prizes. He was just dancing the rest of the night with a massive printer. Literally, I had the exact same experience. So in my first week at Bristol Uni, not Bristol, Uni of Bristol, because I wasn't clever enough to get in it anyway, moving on. Um, I was like with all these new people and I was like trying to like assert yourself because it's your first week at uni and trying to look like I'm cool. And they were like, we need some boys on stage to like do this like task. 
And I was like, oh, they were like, you can win a speaker. And I was like, oh, okay, like, fine. Yeah. Um, bear in mind, I was wildly attractive at this point. Yeah. Muscles, 10 out of 10. Face, yeah. 10 out of 10. Of cock, swinging low. Um, yeah. Got up on stage and turned out you had to get into your underwear and then do like a, a dance off against people. I had no idea of this before oh, I got on stage. Of course you didn't. Oh, so God. No what idea a, what a, whatsoever. What an upsetting turn of events. And I slayed. I slayed hard. And um, I won the speaker. Came back the next week. Won a George Foreman grill. Jesus. We just kitting out, the, kitting out the uni flat. Literally. Just won items. Yeah. And then in my last week in Bristol, I did it again and won another speaker. But this time it was like a sound bar. And yeah. it was so much better. I just had multiple speakers and a George Foreman grill. It nice. was a great time. So I strongly recommend getting your clods off on stage if you can win a prize, because you might just win. Well, that's advice to, I mean, it's not relevant to the dilemma at all. No, it's not, but they I said, wanted to tell that story. Said, I, I want to go away, from, when I go away from home, I'm a, I shag sluts. <laughs> and when, I, when I'm at home, I don't do anything and you went, yeah, I went to a gay bar in Bristol and I won <laughs> two speakers and a George Foreman grill. <laughs> and it was a great time. I loved it. Yeah, get it get out the get out the hoose more. Do just start I cannot imagine earning, I guess, try and move out. I don't know. What, what the yeah. I can't imagine a group of people cheering and clapping for me if I took my clothes off on stage now. I think it would be booze. No. Yeah. I think they might just throw the speaker at you to get your yeah. stage. And just cry. Oh, God, that would be awful, wouldn't it? Oh, well. Moving on. Yeah, great advice. Move out your town, wherever you live, and um, go and check them out. Lovely. Right, George, I've just had an email. Have you? Yeah. Bosh. You're not a guard. <sighs> You're just a today. girl. We haven't had a beverage today. Me? No, we haven't. I know. I couldn't stomach it. I feel sick. We, we're up oh, early. It's currently 5 a.m., guys, if you don't boo. know. Right. Do you want me to read? Oh, my God. You can... Oh. It's quite small. I'll read it. Cause the, is the, are there some big if ones? If it's small, it's yours. Right, okay. Hi, Glenn and George. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even realise that. Do was you know, this thought. has really been happening a lot since, like, people just message me. Make at, sure that continues, by the way, because I said at the end of the... I think it might have been the last episode or two episodes ago or something... I said to just spam his comments with Glenn. Make sure that, that is the only name that you call him in his comment section. Do you know what I, I failed to acknowledge as well and tell everybody? The reason why my middle name is Glenn is because that's my dad's first name. <laughs> How, I mean, I, he doesn't watch the podcast. How tragic is that? And if I told you my dad's full name at his wedding to my stepmom, the um what's it called like person who does the ceremony read out his full name and everybody laughed at your own wedding with your family and friends what's his middle names name names um i can't remember you know it was i was only like you don't know his name middle no name. i can't remember it's something like quite I embarrassing don't know your though. parents middle name i don't know but i just don't i can't remember something quite embarrassing that i mean everybody laughed so it must be quite embarrassing yeah. and the fact that his first name is glenn that is just a violation i'm sorry like, love my dad, but what's going on there? By the way, Glenn? we are two words into this. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, sorry. <laughs> dilemma. Hi, Glenn and George. Um, I'm rather scared as I seem to have a secret power. Anything I say or dream comes true. I've now jinxed two of my parents' cars where a car crash happens where we have to get a new car. Learn how to write a sentence. I'm so sorry. Do you know after we, like, have a go at people for the grammar, yeah. they send a voice note, like, I'm really sorry, like, I, my grammar's not good. And I'm like, we'll get better then. How about that? Mm. See, it always tends to be you that moan about people's grammar, whereas over here on this side of the table, we just read them perfectly well. Wow. So. Wow. I've also dreamt about countless people asking me to be their girlfriend. <laughs> Later that day, it actually happens in the exact way I dreamt it. I had a dream about George being my best friend slash boyfriend last night, which unfortunately most likely won't come true, but maybe it will. Please help because I feel as though I have to be careful now. Love, Glenn's hat. Well, um... Folding is gay. Yes. Ripping straight. Yeah. Paper airplanes. 
I, I love a paper airplane though. I used to do paper airplane competitions when I was younger and we'll always win them. Should we do one? Yeah. Um, okay, but also, um, do you believe in the paranormal? Do I believe in the paranormal? In terms of like... No. Um, but then, oh Some my people God. do have weird little senses though. Yeah. I, like, uh, have you ever had it where, I assume you have, where you're just like, I've got this weird feeling that something's happened, you message the person and they're just like, yeah, I've had a really shit day. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, I have this weird feeling that I've just shit myself and I look in my pants and it's there. Yeah. I've got a feeling I've got a soggy bottom. <laughs> um, so I guess... Yes, you, Mary Berry. To help this person, I would say... Sorry, audio listeners, by the way, we're currently both making paper aeroplanes. I don't know how this has happened, but I'm excited to see whose is better. Um, we... I Sorry, I'm concentrating on making a paper airplane. <laughs> this is terrible for the audio it's, listeners. No, right, audio listeners. just a moron, so he can't speak when he's folding because... I can't. Right, you do it then. Gonna, okay, I can. What, what do you want to speak about? The dilemma. Okay, so um, what was the dilemma? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, what was the dilemma? <laughs> but, uh, but I'm the idiot. It was the person who thinks they've had a dream that they're going to become your boyfriend. Oh, well, yeah, that's not happening. Sorry, love. Um, <laughs> but some people do definitely oh are, able, are capable of, um, like thinking and seeing things of have you ever spoken to a psychic we should get a psychic on the show yeah that would be so good guys any psychics that you know i would love to have a psychic on the show oh my gosh i actually had don't a woman. We don't, even, don't even do ask them as well because they'll just know they want to that we want to come on <laughs> i had a woman contact me and she was like <laughs> this is a lie no <laughs> and she was like i'm having very strong feelings like I, w I felt compelled to go to your social media and compelled to tell give you a reading like a reading of like things that are going to happen to you oh, this doesn't and she sense. sent me this like three page document specialized to me about like things that she feels are going to happen things that i need to look out for no come let the right audio listeners you will not know george just looked at my airplane looked at his and said oh this isn't that good and then made changes instantly that is points for me just I'm, want to point I want to make out. mine look more like concord oh i can eat that one okay then right yeah we'll both throw it to that camera george yeah i made mine look like concord well, it's going to look conked out, conked out in a minute when it's Yours is really twatted. good. I like yours. Yeah, thank you. Yours is shit. Why are you, are I've you ready? I've literally been nothing but complimentary to yeah, your paper well, airplane. You should being, be because mine's rude. good. Yours is bad. So, okay. right, you ready? Let's aim for the camera. He's doing further folds to it. I just want that to be known. Further folds are taking place. Oh, I just want it to be known that George is still making a paper airplane. Yeah, oh. cheating. <clears throat> right, are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Way, mine won, mine won, mine won, mine went further. I mean, it was it was always going to happen. Yours was a better paper airplane. Yeah, it was. Ha ha. Gays win again. That's gay one. Straight nil. Um. <laughs> um. Advice for this person then. Um. Not going to happen, love. But I mean, keep on dreaming. I mean, if you think this is your power, just dream of things that you want to happen. Yeah. Have you ever had a lucid dream where you are in control? No. Have you ever had a wet dream? Um, Sorry, that's probably a bit TMI, isn't no. it? I have had it once, and it was when I was with my ex-girlfriend, so I was literally like 15 years old. I think I was 16. And I was so nervous to meet her family the that I... The gist. <laughs> Weirdly, oh, I, yeah. I don't know what, I don't know what her mum and dad are going to think of me. Oh. <laughs> No. So I Googled online ways to like give you confidence and stuff like that. Cause I was 16, so I couldn't like and drink it said, alcohol. Splued your pants in your sleep. <laughs> no, it said like if you don't ejaculate for like a, a period of time, then you have like more testosterone in your body. So you have You're more like strength. You don't want to shag the parents. No. <laughs> You just have more like what, you strength, going into a confidence. boxing fight? Why, why do you need all the testosterone? I don't know, but... You're meeting the par parents. Why do you need testosterone? Because I was terrified. I was just like a little wimpy 16-year-old with a very firm handshake, Max. <laughs> Literally, I was like... Ugh. But, um, so I remember, I think it was like three or four days that I didn't. And then the night before... Whoa, that's a long hiatus from coming, man. Three days. Yeah, I was 16 years old. Um, I used... I literally woke up from a, like, sex dream. Yeah. And whilst, as I woke up, I was like jizzing all over myself and it was so uncomfortable. I remember like nearly, I nearly cried. I was like, what is happening? Like, 
because I wasn't touching oh, myself. My cock's broken. <laughs> Literally. I was like, oh my God, like, why is this happening? Am I, uh, is there something wrong with me? And then I had to Google it and I found out what it was. But yeah, never again. Um, oh. but what yeah. did you Google to find out? Why have I just jizzed in my sleep? Probably. <laughs> That's a clip. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, next dilemma. Let's do it. Oh, can you hear the phone ringing? Yeah, we can. can. <laughs> Sending a voice note feels so criminal. Oh. But I've got to the point in my life. I'm 19, mm -hmm. I'm a care worker, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do a higher education because I dropped out of uni. But I still have no clue what I want to do for my life. So, advice. Could have turned the TV is, is there a time? Should I know when or what I should be doing? When, when did you know? Because I don't have a fucking clue. Um, also forgot to say hi. Love you both. Thanks. Don't care, worker. <laughs> um, I didn't. I still don't know what I want to do. More. That's what I was going to say. Nobody <laughs> ever knows. And no. even when you think you know, at this point in your life, I don't think you're ever supposed to know. My mum's like in her 50s. And she's just retired from being a teaching assistant that she's done for like over 10 years. Yeah. And now she's like, what do I do? I can like take well, off guard. fucking wasted my life. Yeah, literally. Like, what am I doing? But it's like, even people who have an amazing career, they might be like, oh God, I don't know how I ended up here. Like, I didn't plan mm. this. Like, I, do you think we we planned this? I certainly did not plan to have a mm. podcast where I wear a cowboy hat um, and fake computers in well, I mean, very real computers in me. People often end up in a career that they didn't want to be in. Yes. Just look at that time that I got to the airport and ended up in that dictatorship. <laughs> in the cockpit. The career. Oh, okay. Career? Was, yeah. North Korea. Korea, yes. I wanted to go to South Korea. Nah. The wrong Korea. Yeah. The joke was that... Yeah. Korea yeah, we get it. We Korea. get it. Don't worry, we got it. Yep, 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 yep. Um, I don't think you should feel shame. I don't think that there should be shame about even being in your 30s, your 40s, and still not having a bloody clue what you're doing. No. We've got so much life to live. Mm. Have a good time. That should be your plan. If you know... I don't think you need to know the grand scheme of your life. I think if you wake up and you know what you're going to do that day... That's good. I think it's good to to know that information. You'd be such a shit therapist. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. I think don't know what I want to do in my life. <laughs> but do you know what you want to do tomorrow? Oh God, but look where we are. You know what you're doing right now, and that is good. Um, yeah. What are you doing currently in a therapy <laughs> session? That's great. Yeah. Good. Or if you if you don't know what you want to do. Look at things that you enjoy doing in your life and work out a way that you can make money from it. I enjoy That's chatting what absolute did with shit. Max. <laughs> yes. He, he enjoyed, was like, Do you know what? I enjoy, enjoy this boy. I'm going to rinse him for his work. So he was like, How do I make money from this? <laughs> <laughs> so he became an influencer. <laughs> I mean, that's a foolproof plan, to be fair. I found out about, oh my gosh, there's this person that, I don't know why this just made me think of it. There's this person that has like messaged me loads before. He has like like over 100,000 Instagram followers. Oh, sorry, flex. And, um, and, and he's like very odd. And he would message me like weird, creepy, like obsessive stuff. Yeah. I'd go to an event and he would be like, he would message me, so nice to see you at the event tonight when I hadn't seen him. Message me at the Barbie premiere. Oh. Saying, so nice to see you, meet you tonight at the Barbie premiere. The I film get was it. great, wasn't meet, it? Meet, because it was a Barbie premiere. Ah, okay. Um, Barbie wild. Um, turns out he completely, like, like he wasn't even there. Like, he's just making stuff up. And um, I asked someone, because somebody brought him up when I was with, like, a group of influencers. And they were like, yeah, he bought the account. Like, this guy just bought somebody else's account with loads of followers on it. Mm. And now, like, pretends that he built this following himself and is now an influencer. But because Mad nobody respects. knows him, he doesn't get invited to things, but he does like brand deals every now and again. And I was like, that is mad that you could theoretically just buy buy, buy yourself your way. into a business. Yeah, that's a great plan. What was if the, a, um, oh yeah, Korea, you, you, wanted to, you want to know what to do with your life. I didn't know what to do. Either I did my uni course because I thought, oh, I, I enjoy doing this. And then ended up posting silly little videos on the internet. So just... Pursue what avenue interests you at that time. Yeah. And there's more likely to be jobs that crop up. The amount of people that I've heard that have been like, oh, I got my job because 
my mate was offering my mate's dad was like offering like a place or like I just bumped into someone or like my sister's boyfriend um was working at Costa and got his office job because they somebody who worked at the office who was looking for people to like work in sales was just like oh he's he speaks well and he seems like a nice lad I'll, I'll offer him a job and he was like oh, wow. you'll offer him an interview and he was like yeah sure I'll come along wow like job oh, that, it's weird how often that happens with jobs just like springing up whenever you and you're like oh shit that, that's what I wanted mm. I think that probably happens a lot more in your life because you're rich <laughs> I'm posh that's a bit <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's entirely true I mean when I worked at um, the Chippy he in was, Darwin he was I didn't get many job offers he was working yeah. at Costa where though which Costa Mayfair. There we no, go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> Mayfair. Costa. Windsor Castle Costa. Costa um. Buckingham. <laughs> uh, no, he was. I, I don't know where he was working at Costa. Bristol, most likely. Is oh, right. Lives. Fair enough. But I think that is good advice. If you want to, if you want to see yourself somewhere, go to that place. Actively, that was a bad analogy. You could take a picture and you will <laughs> literally be seen in that place. Move to a city which is going to expand your horizons. Meet new people. Move to Manchester. Move to London where you're going to meet business people that have interesting it's jobs. It's easier said than done to move to a different city. Of course, but also like, not really. You could move to any, I think unless you have like a child and everything that like tying you down. If you are a teenager or if you're like young 20s or whatever, you can literally get a flat share, especially in somewhere like Manchester. I, I had a friend that was paying like £300 a month. And when you think like you could work in a restaurant whilst you're looking at like Rest other avenues, rente. I think that's a really great idea. That's what I did when I moved to London. I literally yeah. earned nothing. My my rent was £500 a month, which you can imagine I'd, what that got you in London. It was I'd, horrible. You know, I'd say get yourself a little bit experience do in preferably and just explore avenues that you that interest you yeah great advice from the useless hotline co-hosts but obviously we are in a very privileged position where we just fell into absolutely a, a yeah so I'll also enjoy. don't listen to so, us at all so don't <laughs> like we're not sat here going it's so easy to do it like, look just look at us yeah no i i yeah. i had very like difficult job when i first moved to london my rent i think it was actually 550 pounds a month and I had to travel two hours every day to get to work in London, where my wage for the year was 13 grand, which is massively under minimum wage. And I was exhausted every single day, um, but I had a great time, got really good experience that led me to my next job. Yeah. So just work, do that, like work your way up, guys. It works. And then I ended up working at L'Oreal. And then a year later, I'm working with L'Oreal as an influencer. That obviously does not, is not related to my hard work it's, that I did at that bit, first job. But. It's a bit silly, though, that I, I I dislike the fact that a lot of things in life, it's who you know. Yeah, I guess. But break through that barrier. Because those people it. don't stay there for long because it's like, oh, we'll go, go give you the job because you're my best mate's boy. Mm. And then, like, oh, well, you're actually shit at your job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was it uh, skills beat luck yeah i didn't know anybody when i like moved to london and when i did my interview for l'oreal i was actually really dumb so it's a shock that i even got that job um so it shows that maybe even personality could get you far guys so put yourself out there right we're going on for too long now but if you enjoy this episode tell them what to do george eat shit oh um <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode and you are listening. Give us a five star rating, uh, download us so you can listen to us on the go. Um, and just keep listening. I, I dare you. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Uh, if you're watching us, give us a like, subscribe, ring those little notification bells so you're notified every time that we post. Um, and Max, how do they send in a dilemma? If you would like to send in a dilemma, please do so via our email as a written one to the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com. And please send a voice note to at the useless hotline pod on Instagram. And please stop sending written ones to the Instagram. They will not be used. Send voice notes to the Instagram. Make them short, make them snappy, make them good. Thank you, love you lots. And until, until next time, then, stay gay. Stay gay, yo. Ooh.